Faith Hill. It's the way you love me. It's a feeling like this. This powerhouse country singer grew up in Mississippi, where she began singing at a young age. The Grammy Award singer would go on to be a staple in the country music and even pop community, selling more than 40 million albums worldwide. She's married to the equally famous Tim McGraw, and together they have three daughters, Gracie, Maggie, and Audrey. You don't see Hill around as much anymore when it comes to performing, and we're actually going to touch on that in this video. In fact, we've got multiple facts about the singer you may have never heard of. Let's see how well you know Faith Hill. And before we jump in, make sure that notifications bell is on so you never miss the latest country music breaking news. Alrighty, hit that thumbs up button if you're ready. Okay, let's jump in. Question number one. Before she was famous, Faith had jobs at McDonald's and as a secretary. She also sold t-shirts and once auditioned to be a part of which country superstars band? A. Martina McBride B. Reba McIntyre C. Dolly Parton or D. Loretta Lynn B. Reba Back in 2006, Hill recalled the moment she auditioned to be Reba's backup singer before making it big herself during an interview on Larry King Live. Quote, well, I didn't get it because I wasn't good enough. I don't think it was because I don't think fate had anything to do with that for me. I wasn't a great background singer and I didn't get the part. Sadly, the woman who ended up getting the job died in the 1991 plane crash that killed eight of McIntyre's band members. Question number two. What was Faith Hill's gift to herself for her 41st birthday in 2008? A. Photo shoot. B. Jewelry. C. Car or D. Shoes. It's A. A photo shoot. And not just any photo shoot. A shoot that would be for the cover of Shape Magazine. You go, Faith! Hill telling People Magazine back in 2008 that she hadn't ever been consistent with working out. And after having three kids, she realized she needed a lifestyle change. She would begin getting in shape alongside McGraw. Quote, it was so hard, but ultimately so worth it. My core is much stronger and my arms are more toned. In fact, wearing a bikini on a magazine cover is my 41st birthday present to myself. Speaking of McGraw, that leads us to our next question. Question number three. How did Faith Hill meet Tim McGraw? A. Concert B. Mutual friends C. Radio seminar or D. Coffee shop C. Radio seminar the two met during Nashville's country radio seminar in 1994, during the New Faces show. Hill was freshly off a divorce from David Hill, and McGraw was in a relationship. The interaction was brief, but flash forward to spring of 1996, when the couple went on a joint tour together. And, well, the rest is history. Both telling Larry King Live in 2006, the chemistry was undeniable. Okay, we're halfway through. How many have you gotten right so far? Let us know in the comments below. Alrighty, do a quick stretch because we're jumping back in. Question number four. What was Tim McGraw's response to his wife's risque scene in the movie The Stepford Wives? A. Was upset. B. Embarrassed. C. Didn't think it was her. Or D. Proud. It's D. Proud. This 2004 movie remake would also have Keith Urban's wife Nicole Kidman starring as the movie's center. The movie's plot hinges around a group of seemingly perfect wives in an idyllic town called Stepford, who are actually remote-controlled robots who have been designed and programmed to serve their husband's needs. Faith Hill's movie debut was highlighted by a scene in which she didn't even appear on screen until the very end. Essentially, Kidman's character and two friends let themselves into Sarah's home and let's just say they heard Hill's character getting it on with her husband. <laughs> you might be blushing now. And Hill was too when it came to the script rating. It's very vocal. Hill said that during an interview with Jimmy Carter. Quote, I remember I'm sitting here and I had forgotten I had to do that. So as everyone's reading their part, I realize, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to sit here next to Glenn and Nicole and everybody and do this. How am I going to do this? But I did it. I thought... What do I have to lose? I'm here. I've gotten the part. I'm just going to have to go for it. Like we said, Tim was proud. <laughs> and if Hill wasn't blushing during the script reading, she sure was when McGraw had this in response to Hill's scene. Quote, I've heard it before. Back to Hill's music. In fact, these last two are pretty pivotal to her music career, so you'll want to listen in. Question number five. When did Faith Hill release her last album of all new country songs? 
1998, B 2000, C 2003, or D 2005? C 2005. Fireflies was the name of the album. It would notch her, her third number one album. The debut single of the album, Mississippi Girl, would go on to be Hill's highest debuting single. From there, she would release her last solo single, American Heart, in 2012, and then flash forward to 2017, and both McGraw and Hill would sign a deal with Sony Music Nashville, touring together for their Soul to Soul, The World Tour. Although Tim McGraw parted ways with Sony in 2020, Hill is still a part of Sony Music Nashville. And now on to our last question. Honestly, a pretty big question you may have been asking yourself for a while now. And we're just going to shoot this one straight, rather than giving you multiple options to guess from. Question number six. Faith Hill has disappeared, but why? So the short answer to why Faith Hill hasn't recorded an album since releasing Fireflies in 2005 is, she has. And we don't just mean her duets album with Tim McGraw. Faith worked on an album called Illusion for a very long time, and beginning in about 2009 or 2010, fans were treated to three songs from that album, top 40 singles Come Home and American Heart, and the song Illusion, which found a scorned woman singing to an ex. That song was never officially released, but you can find it on YouTube. She was about 45 years old at the time and admitted she'd been having a hard time finding a place she can live creatively. The process was simply taking a long time because she was transitioning from a country singer to a more soul singer, a kind of going back to her roots. A lot of thought and effort went into this album. When asked about the sound of the new record, she described it as country soul. Record labels don't love when their artists pivot like that. Remember, she was a Mississippi girl. So when the first two singles didn't work at radio, Warner Music was likely hesitant to lean into the rest of the record. A stallment ensued before she dropped a compilation album in 2016. Then, she signed with Sony and in 2017, said she'd have a solo album coming. Like we said in question five, today, right now, she's still on the Sony roster, but all talk of new music has ceased. If we're being honest, major labels in Nashville don't have a great record with legacy artists, which at 53, is what she is. Any new song would almost certainly need to come with a finished album and a solo tour, and essentially it's not clear how comfortable she is with that. We threw a lot of information at you, so we want to know which Faith Hill fact was new to you or that you found most interesting. Leave it in the comment section below of this video and give yourself a pat on the back if you knew all of this about the singer. I'm Addison Hager with Taste of Country. Thanks for watching and playing along. And as always, thanks for subscribing.